This is Trade Group Homes weekly market update of the real estate market. Bobby, you're the residential guru here. So uh, is it a good time to put your house in the market in the end, the last quarter of the year? What's your um, opinion? I actually do think so. Why? There's not a lot of inventory because people usually have the mentality of, you know what? Let's list, you know, in the spring or let's list in the summer when right. the kids are out of school. So there's not a lot of inventory. So if you're on the market, there's always buyers. There's always people transferring to San Antonio. There's always military people coming in. There's always people looking for homes. So if you come in at this time, um, not a lot of competition. Right. Yeah, because I think if you do it in the middle of June or July or August. I you're mean, competing that, with. Well, you're competing with all these houses in your, in your neighborhood. Yeah. You'll see multiple signs in your block. I also feel that we have the most uh, comparable properties for sale. Like, so everything just sold in the summer. Mm -hmm. Right. So everything just they you put your house in the market in June. It gets under contract by August. You close in September. So right now you, you'll have the easiest time uh, appraising, I guess, because the because all the they're activity looking back, that we've had over the past six months. They're looking back three months ago. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some of the houses that we have for sale right now um, in Alamo Ranch. Actually, the trails of Alamo Ranch right off of 1604 in Culebra. Um, this right off all the, the shopping center over there, we have 6203 Geranium. Mm -hmm. uh, that property is in 7253. It's 3,696 square feet, priced at 310,000. Uh, has just had a, a roof recently put in there and some upgrades and repairs. Um, you see four bedrooms, three and a half bath. This is a Ryland home built in 2008. Uh, two car garage. It has a downstairs master bedroom and one up as well. The sitting room, walk in closet. Uh, two living areas, separate dining room, eat-in kitchen, two total eating, eating areas with an island kitchen, a breakfast bar, walk-in pantry, a study, and an office media room. I mean, this thing has everything, high ceilings. Um, it's a grand entrance, open layout. And this is, again, in Alamo Ranch at the trails at Alamo Ranch, which is the gated area. How Alamo much is Ranch, that one? Priced at 310000 Wow. Uh, we do have the one um, on a state view. It's over in the estate of Stone Oak. So if somebody's looking for a steal, this thing so is it's The cool listed. thing about the estates of Stone Oak is you go up 281, you take a quick turnaround, and you're, I mean, it's like the easiest access, access to 281 that I think you can get in almost any neighborhood. Yeah, so th this home is it's valued way above this. So it, this is a steal right now. So if you want a pool and you want something that's listed way below market, I would say anywhere from seventy five to $100,000 below market value. It's below Bear County appraised value. And houses usually sell for above appraised value. Yeah, they have been for considered for the years, right? So we can't say that it's it's, but it's a steal. If yeah, it's it, a steal. It's, it has a pool, uh, three bedroom, three and a half baths. Uh, it's over three thousand square feet. Three, it's actually three thousand and thirty-eight. It's a big one story, also. Uh huh. So it'd be it'd be a great pickup if somebody wants to to have instant equity. What's the total uh, acreage? Because all of those have a lot it's, of acres. It's an acre and a half. It's right over an acre and a half, actually. One and a half acres. So if you do not want to see your neighbor when you look out <laughs> your side window, especially when you have a pool. Okay, so th the another one we just we found on the market here. It's had a lot of action recently, so I don't know how long it's gonna last. But it's eight six two three Lahima Harbor. Again, that's Lahima Harbor in the villas at Estonia, which is six hundred four and one fifty one. Well, right inside six hundred four uh, and one fifty one off exit, like the military. It's two hundred forty nine thousand, three bedroom, two bath, built in two thousand and thirteen by Meritage. Um, let's see here. This one has two thousand five hundred seventy three square feet. Uh, great curb appeal, open floor plan, game room upstairs, kitchen has 42-inch maple cabinets, granite countertops, master has multiple closets, a large bathroom. It's You can pretty much hear the whales from SeaWorld. It's that close. Um, and this one, again, is 249 dollars It's 8623 Lahima Harbor, three-bedroom, two-bath, Meritage home, only three to four years old. Um, we still have, we just listed actually one over in the northeast part of town over off of Northwest Military. It's actually in Winwood of West Creek. Um that's 1604 in, in Petranco. It's 1604 Northwest Military Petranco between there, between okay. the two. Uh, it, it is over 3,000 square feet. It's only 220. Um, it's built in 05, and they have not. It's, it seems barely lived in. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I don't think the, they had children, but it seems barely lived in. So mm -hmm. I think it, it'd be a good buy if somebody who looks for, is looking for something a little newer, a lot of square footage, very very open. Um, it's a Deer Horton neighborhood. Out yeah, there. it's a Deer Horton neighborhood. The living room is like two stories high, so it's just a big open area. So he wants an open floor plan. Uh, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. Three and a half baths, that's a lot. Um, and it's at 220. 220, and that's 203 Millset Chase. Uh, if you want some downtown living, we have 128 Panama Avenue. It's the Little Blue House on Panama is what we call it in the historic or historically designated La Vaca subdivision, which is where everyone wants to live. It's South Presa. The new cool the area new, where everybody wants to be. Like where Mankey Park was five years ago, so you need to get in now. 
um, four bedroom, which is very rare for that area, two bath, which is very rare for that area, two story, which is very rare for that area. And it's 1,706 square feet, price of 230,000. Um, it's a bungalow, it has a wraparound, you know, porch in the front, uh, wood blinds, they kind of redid it. They have a butcher block countertops, backsplash, wood full blinds, new carpet. I, they recently painted everything inside and out. And uh, that's just south of the, the Hemisphere Park. It's kind right. of the, the last of the kind of affordable areas if you want some bike riding spot. bike riding lifestyle it's 128 panama avenue for two hundred thirty thousand. um and then i think that's the, the ones that we really oh we have some brand new homes on 211 coopwood they're actually brand new for one hundred and twenty thousand. We have a brand new house at 426 erline that's e-r-l-i-n-e avenue for 124.999 so if somebody does need some down payment assistance those, those do have a program the lift they? program where you can come in with five hundred dollars total uh, and also 507 Moselle Avenue is also for sale for 125 So brand new houses at Moselle, two on uh, Moselle, Coopwood, and Erline. If you want some more information about these properties, you go to bobbyandjjradio.com or you can check out our team at thetraygroup.com. And if you want to see some of these properties this week, you can text SHOW to 3676024. That's 210-3676024. Bye.